In this video, we'll see the worked examples of FM modulations. Uh, here, the problem statement is a 400 kilohertz sinusoidal carrier of amplitude 5 volts is frequency modulated by a 3 kilohertz sinusoidal information signal of amplitude 3 volts. The behavior of the carrier is governed by the frequency deviation per volt and for this system is 25 kilohertz per volt. Describe how the resulting FM signal changes with time. So here first, sorry, here first we'll see that uh, 400 kilohertz is a carrier signal with amplitude 5 volts. 3 kilohertz is a message signal with amplitude 3 volts. Then uh, here FM uh, frequency deviation is 25 kilohertz what we see. So, for the 400 kilohertz can be designated as FC, FC, uh, and all this stuff, etc. The FM carrier will change in frequency from 400 kilohertz to 475 kilohertz to 400 kilohertz to 325 kilohertz and back to 400 kilohertz. The meaning is that FC is centered, FC is centered at 400 kilohertz it is a center frequency and what this represents is the upper side band and what this represents the lower side band therefore basically in this problem the fm is a narrow band fm with bandwidth beta equals to 1 so how many times it is changing it depends upon the frequency of modulating signal maximum is 300 kilohertz therefore 3000 times per second this is because the frequency deviation this is because the frequency deviation will be this k fm into 25 kilohertz where k 25 kilohertz is the frequency uh, deviation sensitivity or frequency sensitivity of this the amplitude of carrier will remain fixed at 5 volts remember that in frequency modulation only carrier of sorry frequency of carrier is changed but the amplitude of carrier remains constant in the next we'll see the same worked problem if the same system we used and amplitude of information signal decreased to one volt how would this affect the resulting fm signal describe the changes in space below including any relevant calculations the meaning is that the fm carrier will change in frequency from same it is centered at 400 kilohertz there is no change and frequency deviation changes therefore the rapid changes with the maximum peak of the modulating signal it changes but the amplitude of carrier signal remains at 5 volts because uh, the amplitude of frequency is never changed only the frequency of carrier is changed amplitude of carrier is not changed frequency of carrier is changed now in determination of bandwidth if it is greater than one then it is called as uh, white band fm if it is less than one it is called as uh, narrow band fm the modulation index beta is usually uh, so in a national radio broadcast this is a problem three in national radio broadcast using fm the frequency deviation of the carrier signal fc is chosen to be 75 kilohertz which is very standard and almost same in most of the FM cases and the information baseband meaning the message signal uh, is having a high fidelity between uh, 20 kilohertz to 15 kilohertz thus the modulation index beta is having a formula uh, I mean bandwidth is having a formula which is nothing but the Carson's rule or thumb rule it is equals to twice uh, the del FC plus FI max but this is the uh, frequency of information which is transmitted maximum maximum frequency of information transmitted fc is the carrier uh, deviation so it will equal to 2 into this 75 is this 75 and this 15 is this 15 both are in kilos therefore the kilo can be taken as common when we calculate it then it will be 180 kilohertz so these are the two practice uh, questions uh, student is supposed to uh, do it calculate it uh, and uh, after uh, 
after evaluate after completing this assignment you submit it to your teacher thank you